What up, peeps and peepets? Orbtron here, and today we're taking a look at the Waking Vigil Hand Cannon that you get your hands on from the Dreaming City. Anything that you get legendary rewards for from the Dreaming City, be it a uh, quest, or a bounty, or a powerful reward from, say, doing Tier 4 of the Blind Well, you can get your hands on a Waking Vigil. Now, you'll see mine is a Tier 10 Masterwork for Stability, this is not the curated role. If it were, I wouldn't have any choice for magazine or site. It'd be locked. So this is my personal god role. That's why I have masterworked it. Now, what makes it a personal god role for me is this thing is incredibly consistent in the Crucible. Um, now, the fact that it has the lightweight frame intrinsic perk, which makes you move a little bit faster and have superb handling, that's just an added side bonus. Um, it's sights, I don't have the best sights on it. I have a Hitmark HCS or the Crossfire HCS. Not really the cream of the crop there, but the rest of the weapon I really, really enjoy. It's got high caliber rounds, so it makes it flinch a little bit more than it should. And when you're going up against other people that might be using something that might hit a little harder, having that extra flinch going against them is always nice. And then we have Zen Moment, which makes the weapon even more stable, working with my masterwork. So as soon as I do some damage, the bullets basically will always go where I'm pointing the gun, which is fantastic when you're in a firefight with somebody. And what's also fantastic is having snapshot sights, which makes the aim down sight speed nearly instantaneous, as you'll see here. And what's nice about that for Crucible is that when you, when you see somebody when you engage an enemy in glorious combat, you generally aim down sights before you shoot, correct? Not many people will actually pull the trigger as they're aiming down sights, as there's a fairly good chance you're going to miss that shot. And it's going to have more bloom on the bullet, hip firing, than it would aiming down sights. So having snapshot sights makes that just millisecond or two more in my favor when entering a fight with somebody. And if I have to react to somebody shooting at me, it makes it a little bit more even. I don't have the slow aim down sight speeds of some of the slower firing, low handling hand cannons. So the 150s, they can still three tap in the Crucible if you hit all of your headshots. So that is nice. Um, having Rampage or Kill Clip on it would, of course, make that a little bit easier. Maybe give me a little bit of slack when it comes to finishing somebody off in three shots in case I miss my headshots. But honestly, I would rather have the consistency of having my bullets go or I actually point the gun rather than have the bullets hit a tiny bit harder after I get a kill. Personal preference. That's why I call the weapon my personal god roll. It might not be everyone in the community's god roll, but there you have it. But we're going to jump into the Crucible, and we're going to see what I can pull off. Also, I'm using a sniper rifle, the Bite of the Wolf. So we're going to see how that goes as well. Started this game with my microphone muted. That was a bad call. But let's see what we can't do with this here nifty little hand cannon. Ooh. Stuck that guy, but it was an instant kill because of my chest piece. Oh, it's a 5v6. That's kind of neat. Glad to see that uh, Bungie's been keeping up with their terrible matchmaking promises. You promise that 90% of the time you will have bad matchmaking. All right, I'm I'm sorry. That was a bit salty. Oh, I'm about to die to a bygones. Oh, that felt bad. Oh, that felt bad. Oh yeah, we're going up against a four stack as well because reasons. Because reasons. Okay, that's a lot of the enemy team. I There we go. 
That quick reload. Get my other stuff. Regen. Is that enemy or friend? That is a friendly... Friendly shield. Got him. And we didn't die to the grenade, so that's good. We also, however, did not stick that guy, which is unfortunate. I haven't really used sticky nades at all in the Destiny 2, so it doesn't surprise me that we're not able to get a kill. I'm going to take that sword ammo, though. So now, with my cloak, or my, sorry, my titan mark having sword scavenger, I actually get more sword ammo off of a brick on the ground than you do off of a uh... Hold on. Trying to talk. Then you do off of picking a brick up off of the wall, which is nice. Kind of cool. Uh, but this hand cannon, it's it's really, really consistent, and that's totally what I want in a hand cannon, which is why I really, really like this hand cannon with this roll. As soon as I got this thing to drop, I was like, ooh, that's so crispy. We're going to give some people some Home Depot hammers here because everybody... Loves a quick trip to the Home Depot. Not sponsored. Used to that being a different grenade. Alright, friend. Pushing up into enemy spawn. There we go. Now we have flipped the spawns. I have a lot of ammo in my sniper. So, maybe let's try to get a quick pick with this sniper. I haven't really sniped in a few days, and if you saw my video where I was kind of showing off some snipes... That hurts. That was painful. There we go. We're gonna get our grenade back from that. Keep it that way. I'm doing pretty good with the snipes, though, especially for not really being a sniping connoisseur. Got him in the face. Alright, we got a bunch of Enemasos popping supers now. So that's no bueno. Ugh! He got me with the Ace of Spades. I didn't know I was that weak. That's fine, though. We got a uh, pretty fair lead on the enemy team. Trying to get a sniper pick right now. It just isn't working out for me. We're going to get our shoulder charge back, though, right about... Then. About right when we took that shotgun to the face. Weird. Someone in the Crucible is using a shotgun. Only five minutes left. It was nice to see that little nerf that Bungo did to shotguns, though. Consistent gun is consistent, sir. Get stuck. Oh, it don't matter, because he just got shotgunned in the face. Oh, I'm very dead. How am I not dead? I should be dead. Yep, I'm dead. Okay, well, we got some points, though. We're still 20 points up on the enemy team. The consistency of this hand cannon. Like, it's it's what I went for on the, on the build of... The weapon, putting the Icarus mod in it, having the Stability Masterwork on it. I couldn't ask for a better weapon. That's kind of why I consider it to be a god roll. And I love the snapshot sights, because I love aiming down sights quickly. And having the Radar Tuner mod on the Snip Snipe really works out well as well. And if you're curious about the Snip Snipe, even though I haven't gotten a pick with it, it is really good. Um, it's from the Iron Banana. And it is the uh, Bite of the Fox uh, vendor roll from the last time that Banner was in town. That guy should have been stuck, but was not. 
Got him. Right in the face. That was a good pick. I think he kind of flinched me into hitting him in the face. Which is very considerate of him. Oh! Blade bl Barrage. Gotta love it. This battle is yours. Got to love catching one little bit of that super and just exploding because of it. Not salty at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Got some spectral blades. Not that I care. Hi, catch these hammers. Double down. Catch that nade. You should have died, but you did not. So that's a thing. Where are you going, homeboy? Oh, that's a lot of them. We're gonna try to get a pick with a uh, with a snip snipe again. Oh, uh, we are dead. Never mind. We are not dead. Oh, there we're dead around the corner. Cool. I didn't know that Luna's Howl had a bullet bending perk, but apparently it does. It's all right. You know, enemy teams out here getting kind of sweaty, and that's fine. Everybody's allowed to sweat their dink off a little bit in quick play. Doesn't mean it is quick play. It's supposed to be the casual playlist, but <laughs> let's let's be real here. Let's be a little bit real. No scope. Nope. I didn't get play the game though, so that's cool. That that just nothing. There's nothing quite like just taking a play the game bullet grenade. Sorry, just right to the face. Okay. Yep, I uh, don't know where I took all the damage from, where he could one-shot me like that, but it happens, you know, it's it's a thing. We are one kill away from winning. I haven't gotten a kill in a while, because I've been trying to go for, like, a cheese. There we go. Match complete. We did it. We did it, chat. Well, it wasn't a very dominant victory as far as my part is concerned, but I think I did show off there that the hand cannon, with its current uh, loadout that I have on it, with the roll that I have and the mod that I have on it and the masterwork that it has, it is incredibly, incredibly consistent. And that's what I love about a weapon. That's why, for me, this is a personal god roll. Now, for it to be like a PvE god roll, I would want it to have Outlaw and Rampage, and make this thing basically a energy version of our favorite hand cannon from the Leviathan Raid that I'm forgetting the name of right now, so I'm going to look it up in the Collections tab. Totally not embarrassed by this, by the way. What is the name of this uh, overpowered hand cannon? Midnight Coup, there we go. That's what, that's what that was with the Outlaw and the Rampage. But anyway... Let me know what kind of roll you've managed to get on a waking vigil. I've gotten quite a few rolls that were about halfway there. You know, they had... Yeah, maybe they had Dragonfly, and I'm just not really a fan of Dragonfly. Or maybe they had Grave Robber, which is just awful. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know if you've gotten anything nice and crispy from the Dreaming City. But... That is going to be it for this episode. If you liked it, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. Like for that snipe. That snipe in flinch. Pretty cool. Greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my daily Destiny 2 content, hit the subscribe button. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time.